Grant, not the result you would have wanted, of course. Uh, how did you rate the performance? Um, first 15, 20 minutes, we should have been out of sight, really. You know, Malik's clean through, mis miscontrols a touch, a couple of flip chances there on the edge of your box, headers back in, things like that we didn't take advantage of. Keno scores a great goal, to put his 1-0 up. And at that point, we're thinking we're going to win the game, we, you know, we're looking good. But then we can see the terrible goal. To, to, to let them get back into 1-1. We switched off from a set play. They play quick. Good finish from Caddis, to be fair. And in the second half, we just huffed and puffed. We, we, we wanted the race the second half. We we didn't get going. Um, boys looked like they were lacking a bit of energy, a little bit of spark, um, and Swindon took advantage of that. Yeah, and do you, could you maybe add to that as well? Swindon looked quite organised in, in their shape? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I thought they just they just took a chance. You know what I mean? The, the, the chance that they had in the second half, they took. We had numerous opportunities, balls going into the box, we just didn't get on the end of. Um, but it's a day of learning for us, you know, we weren't, we weren't nowhere near where we should be uh, and can be. Um, but we'll look at it and hopefully go and, uh, and react off it. Potentially clutching at straws, did the uh, conditions also play a part in that second half? Because sometimes when the ball was up in the air it was spiralling all over the place. No, no, definitely not. It's the same for both teams. Um, nothing to do with the conditions where we lost. And uh, what positives do you take from the game? Um, positives is it's, a, it's another goal for Kino. Um, we'll look back at the opportunities we had. I felt we got in some good, good, good areas again, um, and just didn't get that, didn't get that contact in the box or the cross, or wasn't quite right. Or when it was right, we just weren't there. So these are things we need to look at. We'll have to keep getting better at that. And do you see the postponement on Tuesday as a little bit of a blessing in disguise ahead of a FA Cup rematch against Fleetwood? Bit of rest? Yeah, possibly. Um, but we'll be working next week. I mean, it's. It's, uh, it's not an excuse, um, but we just weren't, our energy wasn't there today, um, so we need to get the energy back. Josh, obviously not the result you would have wanted today, but from a player's perspective, how did you rate the performance? Uh, frustrating, to be honest. Um, obviously, it started well with the goal, but um, yeah, just a frustrating result, to be honest. Yeah. What do you put the result down to in terms of the performance itself? Uh, boy, we just off it today. Um, Obviously, tired from the midweek games, but that's not no excuse, obviously. So, yeah, just off it, to be honest, but we go again, we look forward and we keep moving forward. Yeah, because you were piling men forward right at the end of the game. At times, there were six and seven in a line. Just couldn't find a way through in the end. Yeah, you get games like that, but ultimately, you just got to learn from it and move forward. Yeah. How do you bounce back from it? What positives do you take from the game? Um, it's hard to straight after it, but... Um, like I said, we just l l analyse the game as a team and see where we can improve and, and we'll definitely bounce back from it and, and go harder next time. Yeah, I said to the gaffer that maybe the postponement that's on Tuesday might come as a blessing in disguise. It might give you some time to just recuperate and get ready for the next one. Yeah, I guess, I guess. But as players, you just want to play as soon as possible, to be honest, after a defeat. But yeah, we'll move forward anyway and next Saturday we'll be ready.